Be sure to subscribe to this class will be learning how to make this beautiful leg of a mutton sleeve. It has this beautiful hack that we're going to be creating together in this class using a uh, pattern. It's a very simple tutorial and a beginner friend. If this is something you would like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so I have my basic sleeve already like this. So to introduce more volume to my sleeve, I'm just going to create slash lines. So here, I used 4 inches for my cap side. So I'm going to mark the 4 inches there so that I can have a straight line. So this can be your only, only measurement that you need. But I want to introduce more volume. So I'm going to measure what I have here. And I have about 8 and a half or 9 inches. So I'll note the half of that. That's the midpoint and then I'll create that, I'll connect that to the cap's height again. So if you're okay with just volume on the upper part, you can stop like that. But I want to introduce more volume on my lower part as well. So I'm just going to measure two and a half inches in servers in two places. Okay, you can do that into three or four places, but this is going to spread to around my elbow area. So I'm okay with it. So you can see the amount of volume I have added already. Now this is the upper part and this is the underarm area. So I'm just going to label this the underarm so that you know how we are cutting so i'm going to be cutting from the upper part here not the underarm towards the underarm area but i'm not going to cut completely so now i'm slashing them like this and then i'm slashing the second one i'm slashing the third and the fourth so now i have slashed all of them the next thing is for me to spread it so to spread it i'm going to bring in a fresh paper and then i'm going to spread on it so for this type of sleeve you are going to be creating an hack so that is why it is different so the hack i'm going to be creating on this fresh pattern as well and then i'm going to spread on it so now i have my fresh paper here so the first thing i'm going to do is to create the allowance for the hat before i place my pattern so depending on how voluminous you want the hat to be you can measure from three to six inches but i think i'm just going to measure five inches so i'll mark five inches like this and then i'm going to make it into a straight line okay so i have five inches like i said you can do five you can do four so now after marking my five inches next thing is to bring in my pattern so remember we slashed from our under from our upper arm area which is actually straight which was straight initially remember it was straight so it was just a straight line so now what i'm going to do is to match up the the rest the part that i did not slash i'm going to match it up with my with my straight line that i created so let me just cut off this excess I don't need it so i'm going to match it up with my straight line and then i'll hold it down with a masking tape so i've held it down now as you can see so the next thing is for me to start spreading so i don't want too much volume so i'm just going to spread by one and a half or two inches so now once you spread from one point to the other you use your masking tape to hold it down just like we do our normal slash and spread so from one point you measure your two inches or whatever it is that you want to spread with and then you hold down then you move to the next one you measure your two inches again and then you hold it down with your masking tape so that's how you are going to spread all of them so all of my pattern is spread out now and you can see this part that i have my smallest one so what i'm just going to do is to connect this using my free hand and i'm going to connect it to this straight line that we created here so depending on the height that you want to go for i'm just going to connect this tentatively i may still change this later okay so now to create that hack remember we left five inches allowance there so from here again i'm going to be connecting in a in a circular form like you're creating a hat basically all the way to where my sl my slash line stops which is here so here now using my free hand again i'm connecting like this okay okay to create that hack that height that you want you can use a call for this one just using my friend so if you're not okay with what you have here you can also increase it from this point 
all the way to connect with your heart so that it can have a smooth cup so you can see what i have here so basically this is how you're going to create that hack that you see on this sleeve so after creating it the next thing i'm going to do now is to bring in my scissors and then cut out this new shape that i have so after cutting out the new shape i'm going to go ahead now and cut it out on my fabric so when you're cutting out on your fabric, you may need to add surfacing to your fabric, especially if the fabric you are working with is a soft fabric and you want your art to really stand on its own. So now I'm going to cut this out. This pattern does not have allowance, so I'm going to add my necessary allowances on the two sides because remember we are going to have two pieces for each of the sleeves now and we need to join it back together so this is the shape that i have for my sleeve now i'll go ahead and cut it out on my fabric so i've cut this out on my fabric and i added few allowances on this side so now the next thing now is to sew them together so before i remove my pattern I'm going to notch the places that I will need to to gather. So you can actually gather all around from the ham hole uh, uh, from the underarm area. So this is where the ham hole line stop. So you can notch that part. Then you're going to gather it up to where we have our straight line, which is this place. So I'm going to notch that part as well. So by the time I remove my pattern, I know that I'm going to gather from here all the way to this point back to my actual measurement and then once i gather it you can see the hack that we have created here okay it's no longer straight we have that hack so for clarity sake let me explain with the pattern so the part that you are going to gather is from your underarm okay where we went down by four inches this point all the way to where we created our straight line before creating the hack so i'm going to be gathering all of this place so now by the time i gather it like this back to my arm o measurement this is what i'm going to have and then i'll have this beautiful hack that i have there okay so i want to to fuse a little bit of interfacing on this big part so you can see what i have now so the next thing is for me to sew them together so to sew the two sleeves together i'm going to lay them on each other and then i'm going to close it up so i'm going to sew from this notch area okay so where we notch that's where our gathering is going to stop so i'm going to sew it all the way to the hem which is going to include the pencil parts of the sleeve so i'm going to sew from here all the way to this place so that i can have my sleeve as one single piece so on the pattern this is where i'm sewing so i'm going to be sewing from from this point where I created the straight line here so I'm going to sew it all the way to the lower part so that I can have them as one single piece okay so I have sewn it as you can see from this notched area I just sew it all around to the hem and then I went there to hem the lower part so that I can be neatly finished so turning it out now this is what I'm going to have and our going to be even more obvious now so i have turned it up and this is what it looks like okay so you can see what it looks like so if you are going to be adding lining to this you cut a lining the same way at this point you use them to turn out each other so that it can cover up your interfacing so you can see the beautiful hack that we have there so now what i'm going to do now is to go ahead and run a gather stitch from this notch part which is my underarm area to where i stop sewing here so that i can gather this back to my actual armhole measurement so after gathering it i'm going to close it on the underarm and the sleeve is ready so i've gathered this back to my round armhole measurement which is 14 inches that's why it's looking this small so please note that you don't have to gather up to your underarm area you can just make your gathering to be on this upper part alone so it's just going to be fuller so if you don't want gathers around the underarm please you can decide to do that so after gathering it on the upper part i went ahead to close it on this underarm and now i'm going to turn this out so that we can see what it looks like So you just turn it out carefully after turning it out. <laughs> this is 
is what we will have okay so this is the ham hole area this is the part we are going to sew to our ham hole and this is the hack that we created so now you can see that we still have our lower part pencil it's remaining is it remains the measurement the original measurement that we have there and then the volume is just on this upper part so now i'll take this to the mannequin so that we can see what it looks like so on the mannequin now and you can see this is the armhole part where you sew to your armhole and this is the beautiful arc that we created with our pattern you can see how lovely this is looking and how simple it is to make this i hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one so this is the pencil part of the sleeve as well this is what the full view of the sleeve look like thank you for watching and bye for now